Hi beauties! So we are starting off our uh, September subscription service boxes. They have started to arrive. The first one that I got, which is the first one I pretty much get every month, is the Glow Addict Beauty subscription box. This is one that I've recently just started getting. I think I've been getting it for like maybe five or six months now. I did sign up for a year subscription when I did it because I had a coupon that wound up covering the shipping because shipping is on top of this box. It's not included. So the box is $18.99 a month, uh, full price and I think it's like two or three dollars shipping. I've actually liked it. It's definitely indie. It's definitely more niche. Um, most of the boxes you're gonna get a set of false lashes and a palette. Last month we didn't get either one of those. They kind of mixed it up a little bit and uh, people really hated it. I just have to say, I am not as, go I'm never going to be as hard on this box as I am, unless they get really, really big as I am on BoxyCharm and Ipsy, because this is a niche indie brand. They don't have the same customer base. Um, they're definitely much smaller on that, you know, kind of scale. They don't have the same connections with companies. So I am pretty much okay with, if I get one or two items that I really, really like, or I think are very good value, then it pays for it for me. I understand people complaining about it. I just, that's kind of why my, I'm very hard on Ipsy and BoxyCharm because they are, they have kind of set the rules for the subscription service game because they have such a large customer base and such a deep connection with multiple uh, big name. I mean, let's be real. They're, they've got connections with big name beauty retailers. So that's kind of why, so I'm just gonna preface that. I, I, I don't remember what's coming in this box. I mean, this, they don't do customization. This is all, everybody gets the same box. I just don't remember seeing an email about, I don't remember getting an email about shipping or anything. I, in fact, I told Nikki last night, I was like, I wonder when that's gonna come. And then it happened to be like in the mailbox. So the other thing I'm gonna say before we jump into it, I know this is a lot of like talking before we actually get into the meat of it, but I just don't get, their packaging changes every month. Sometimes it just shows up in a plain ass box. Sometimes it shows up in a bag. Sometimes it shows up in this pretty box right here. I, I don't know. I don't know. But like this month is really pretty, pretty box. Okay. So yeah, let's jump in. Okay, so first thing, we did get lashes this month and really beautiful lashes. As somebody who doesn't really wear false eyelashes, but I've gotten a couple pairs that I've really liked from them. It's kind of made me start getting a little bit more adventurous with it. I don't, I'm not really, if I were going places, like 2020 is not a year of traveling or like doing anything. So it's not like I'm going anywhere. So I probably would be putting on false lashes a little bit more just because I've gotten so many from them and I've really started to kind of get a little bit more comfortable doing it. Not a lot, but a little bit. But these are gorgeous. They are Flaunt Beauty. <gasps> Wait a minute, hold up. Some may right. These are the magnetic lashes with the magnetic eyeliner. Call me crazy. I wanted to try these, but there's part of me that's like, but like, what does that do? What exactly, like, what is having magnets on your eyes gonna do all day? It freaked me out. I was kind of like, what could it, could it, we don't know. This, I feel like this technology hasn't been tested well enough yet. That's where I was at with that. That's why I hadn't thought into it. Does it make sense? No, but that was what my mind was doing. I was like, what if I get eyeball cancer? I don't want that. So like, I had not invested in it, but for the channel, definitely, I wanna try these out. I think this is such, it's such a cool concept. If it is like safe, if it won't cause horrible something happening later in my life, then I think that this is like a total game changer. So I'm actually really excited to try that out because I have really been thinking about getting some, but cool. So those are the magnetic lashes. It does come with the magnetic liner in it as well. Yeah. The next thing we got here, this is actually something, this is to me, it makes the box worth it because I've been really looking at buying one of these because I've been getting all these fake lashes. I don't have one of the lash clamps that applies lashes. Um, I know most people probably do because a lot of people who do the like the level of makeup that I do, that sounds like I'm like bragging on myself. It's not, it's just, I do a full face almost every time I do makeup. So that's, most people who do that, they go ahead and do false lashes as well. I just don't because I don't really, like false lashes and I'm just not really comfortable with them and my eyelashes naturally are pretty long. So I don't normally do them every time, um, but a lot of people do. And so it's something that now that I'm trying to get more into the false lashes, I was like, I really need to invest in something. This is from iBeauty and it, it's got that nice little kind of like clamp. I think it's like the idea is like you can press it down and then you can also like clamp it in. I've been wanting to get one and I'm really excited that I got one. Um, in, the in the beauty box, it saved me, you know, whatever it was gonna cost me to go in and find a decent brand. And it feels like really nice and heavy, it's a cute design. I like the gold and everything, so 
that's a cool one too. Next thing we got is a nice little brush cleansing pad. Yeah, it's nice. I have a couple of these already, so it's not necessarily something I needed, but it is something that is nice to have. I personally am really bad about washing my brushes. I literally use every brush I have in my collection until they're all dirty and then I say, fine, I'll finally wash them all. And that's how it goes. In fact, I've used all of the ones in my normal makeup bag and I've now the one, the, the makeup bag that I'm using currently is my travel one. So I'm going, I'm cycling now through the brushes in my travel bag until they're all dirty and then I'll wash them all together. Cause that's just, that's just how I roll. But yeah, I think it's a nice little thing. Um, yeah. And it's a pretty good size too. The whole idea is that it just gives you different like little bumps and stuff and then little ridges and stuff that kind of goes in there and like cleans out differently. I want to invest in one of the makeup brusher, like brush cleansers that like spins it. Cause I think that's the best way to do it. Cause I hate washing my brushes, but still think it's a nice little product. Next thing we have is a Steve Laurent. It looks like it's a lip gloss, lip oil. It's a lip oil <laughs> and it lives in the box. It never comes out. It will not come out. Oh yeah. So it's just like a little clear lip oil, like a nice little kind of like pink thing. This personally for me is not a great product just because I don't really like lip oils. I don't like the feeling of them. Is this an under one or is this an over one? It looks like an overcoat with the color of it. I like getting certain lip treatments and stuff because my lips always chap really bad, especially now as we're getting ready to start going into the winter season, I always get like really bad, like dry skin everywhere. So that's nice for me. I just am not a big fan of like lip glosses that go over the lips. So if this is one that's supposed to go over it. I'll have to do, I'll have to look into it more. But if this one that goes over it, I'm probably like, mm. if it's an under one that's supposed to like go in and hydrate, then I might be a little bit more into it. It's just not one of my favorite products, if I'm being honest. All right, the last thing we have in here is a palette and I think, Oh, it's actually a contour palette this month. That's cool. I, so I haven't gotten one, a contour palette from them. It's always been eyeshadow. And um, I like that. It's from Aesthetica, which I've heard of the brand, but I don't think I own anything from them. That's what the front of it looks like. Um, the packaging kind of reminds me of like ABH's stuff, like their, um, their contour palettes. But in, oh, it's broken. Yep, sure enough, inside it is all broken. I have not had to work with dealing um, with broken, that's so sad because it's actually a gorgeous palette. I haven't had to deal with dealing with um, broken products from Glowax, so this will be a very interesting experiment to see how willing they are to work with me. I mean, Ipsy was really good about it when I got broken stuff. BoxyCharm is really good about it when I got broken stuff. Um, Ulta's pretty good about it too, but it's just one of those things, especially with what I was saying at the beginning, they are a smaller brand. So this is gonna be, I think, a little bit more challenging, but we'll see. I will definitely keep you guys updated on, on it. Definitely disappointing. I mean, nobody likes getting a broken product and it is, I mean, you guys can see it's like, I can't even hold it up all the way because it's like, it's powder. So yeah, that definitely dampened the mood a little bit. That's why I told Nikki off camera, like I don't even wanna reach out because I just hate dealing with the the headache of having to like contact a company and then get it reshipped and all that. I will, I will reach out and just so I can see like how it's handled, but it's definitely disappointing. It definitely um, kind of puts a, a, a sad, note onto something that should be exciting and fun to unbox, but it is what it is. I really like the palette though. I'm looking at the powder and the powder itself looks gorgeous. I would love to test it out. I mean, I think it's something that honestly, as long as I'm careful with it, I might be able to still use. It's definitely gonna be messy, but all right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I like doing unboxings a lot for you guys. I think you guys like watching them as well. So uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe do that. subscribe. And then if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, and you stay curly with a dark twist.